Hello my lovely audience, today we're going to look at something a little bit different, it's a lawnmower I purchased, it's a Victor mulch or catch lawnmower, I call it an ICTA because the V fell off within the first week of owning this thing, on YouTube I'm normally known for doing reviews on items like this, but Thomas is going to be given a flick in this video, and we're going to take a look at this lawnmower and I'm going to tell you things that I like and dislike about what's going on here, let's do it. Crikey, I'm just thrown in the grass like this. Anyway, what's this guy know about lawnmowers? Well, I hope he doesn't forget me. Don't forget me. Don't forget me. Warning, please don't emulate the stunts and activities you see in this video. Leave this sort of work to the professionals. So here's a lawnmower. It's definitely not the bottom of the range of these. I actually picked this up because it says designed and assembled in Australia. Victor is owned by Briggs & Stratton and the engine on there is actually been made in the USA and that's sort of nice to know. So it's nice to see something made in the USA, it's rare to see these days, most things are made in China. Mind you, when I read the Australian newspapers, that's what I'm starting to read. So I've got a funny feeling that Australia is basically just becoming another state in the United States. We're going to have uh, Donald Trump for president, I dare say, one day. Came with a mulching attachment here that goes in the back of the mower, and if you don't want to mulch, you can always put the catcher on. But I'm not the sort of person who catches, I do things like this, with catchers. Crikey's, this guy's a madman. Do you see that? I nearly got killed by that lawnmower catcher. That's no way to treat a superstar like me. Well, considering I lost the V, I've got a Nikta. I wonder if they could brand these lawnmowers in Russia like this. Oh, well, Conrad, there's your Nikta. So we're looking at the side of the box here. We get a, a feel for the features that this lawnmower has. It's got a mulching disc underneath there, which helps sort of mulch up the grass when you're not using the catcher. It's got quad blades, it means basically four blades. Of course, we talked about the motor. It's a four-stroke engine built in the USA. And it's got a ready start system for starting. It's actually very easy to start. This is the literature which came with this lawnmower. There's one here about engine care and what oil you should and shouldn't use in the engine. Nice read if you like to read things like that. Because I'm a man, I don't read this sort of stuff. There's one here on how to assemble your lawnmower and how to take care of it and safety and all the boringness of it but the part that I found most curious and it's a part that caught me out was the thing called the zone starter and basically it's where the pull cord of the motor is extended up onto the handle of the lawnmower here so let's get ahead around the zone start and why it's on this lawnmower normally on a lawnmower the ripping little handle thing you pull is there but on this lawnmower here it has been extended up so it is right up here, sort of where you're standing, where you control the lawnmower. Uh, only problem is, I had problems with this, and mine is only, well, this long now. There's a bit of a story to why my zone start is much shorter than it should be. The zone start feature was basically fitted to keep your feet and hands further away from the cutting disc blades during start and make it easy to start your mower. Hmm, so by adding this safety feature, have they actually added a risk in running this lawnmower? I think they have. And just on that silly starting system, maybe if I throw to some footage of a toy version of this lawnmower, now do we see a silly long starting string on that? No, boys and girls, because on toys, long strings like that are choking hazards, and you're not going to find silly designs like that on a toy lawnmower. Yet we find these sort of silly designs on the real lawnmower. So my ICTA lawnmower is fitted with a starting system that's meant to make it safer, zone start. It takes a little pull handle away from here and it has it up on the handle here. But for me that ended up being a very risky thing and let me show you what happened. In our garden we've got some low hanging trees and so often you'll be mowing and you've got to come in and mow under these trees. And guess what happens when you go under there? Sometimes if you're really unlucky and unfortunate like me, you go under here and your zone starter will detach from the handle here. And I pulled the lawnmower back and whooshka! It was a big, big, noisy, scary mess. Went underneath the mower, got sucked in there, got chewed up. And I was lucky to save it by coming in with a small pair of vice grips. Then I came along and detached it from the blade area and I ended up losing the little starting handle. But that is the handle from my previous GMC lawnmower. Uh, lucky I kept that, and lucky I had enough string left behind that I can still start this mower. I'll be quite honest here, I think this is a classic case of a change of design to make something safer has made it more dangerous. This is totally unnecessary. Uh, when it goes wrong, it's very, very scary. And luckily, 
it, my Victor lawnmower now just starts like a conventional lawnmower. Well, my Icta lawnmower, it's about three months old. The problem happened on about the third time I used it when I lost the zone start and got caught up under a tree. And this problem had me go down to the Bunnings where I purchased this lawnmower to investigate the other lawnmowers which had the zone start system. And by showing you footage down there, you'll get a better illustration of the problems when the zone start fails and you've got all the starter string which is just sort of hanging about. When it comes away from the handle and detached from that ring, there's a whole bunch of string that can so easily be caught up under the blades if you roll back over it. It's actually a very, very dangerous thing to have happen, considering that that has been put on there to make the mower safer. I'm telling you, I'd wish it upon no one when that starter string gets caught up in those blades. There's a huge noise, a little handpiece goes flying, and it really does scare you. And if you're really unlucky, you'll lose the starter string, and you're going to have to go back and get some major repairs. So I've established I dislike the starting system, the zone starting system on this lawnmower, but I haven't got that now because I chewed up the string. The other thing I don't like is, and it's best illustrated if I put a straight edge down on one side here. Okay, that side of the mower is nice and straight, so it's easy to do edges. Let's take a look at the other side. Or well, remembering I've got an Icta and not a Victor. Okay, let me get the straight edge here and let me get back and you'll start to possibly see what's going on here. Okay, if I get to the front of the lawnmower, you can see how that's an angle on that side there. This side here is great for doing edges and getting straight lines. Uh, this side here is totally hopeless and all it does is it wants to jag in to the edge you're trying to do. Oh, you're probably thinking you're silly, Leo. You should have looked at that before you bought this. My previous mower actually had straight sides on both sides. It was actually a GMC basically a Honda clone. If I flash up some video of it from a previous video, uh, you'll see it. Made in China, basically clone of a clone of a clone, Briggs & Stratton motor, eight years of service, and what died on it was the carburetor. I think ethanol and fuel kills the carburetors on these styles of motors. Went through one set of blades, and that's where I worked out it was actually like a clone of a Honda. The underneath blades, the disc and everything were basically complete rips of a Honda lawnmower. Eight years for a very cheap lawnmower that I actually converted myself to being a mulcher. Hey, it wasn't too bad at all. So here I am trying to support Australia. Although Briggs & Stratton is an American company, all oh, the lawnmowers assembled in Australia, but the parts are probably made in China. Boy, it gets messy, doesn't it? Anyway, maybe I put these glasses on. I'm going to try and put the V back in the Victor, and while I'm mowing, wave the Australian flag. While it still looks like this and doesn't become a flag with stripes on it. Well, I'm a person who likes to mulch and not mow. Let me put the mulching attachment in. I have got it the right way around. And it can be a little bit fiddly to get in. It can be very fiddly to get in. It can be extremely fiddly to get in. Um, oh, okay, it's in. Looking down at the height settings you can use on this mower, there is basically a range for if you've got the catcher on, there's a shorter range, a higher setting if you're using the mulch. I don't listen to any of that rubbish there, I just set it to whatever I want. Just taking a bit of a squizzy underneath here, it's four blade, they call it quad blade because it sounds more expensive when you say like that. This is the mulching disc and really all that's different with the mulching disc is we've got these little cutouts that sort of help mulch stuff up. And that there is the mulcher insert that you saw me put in and that's really important to have in and that's probably the big secret to why it mulches. I just noticed there's a spider living in the exhaust port there. The exhaust uh, vents down to underneath the mower. In fact, there's a grabby daddy long legs uh, which I've aroused from under the mower as well. This thing is infested with spiders. Well, I know one way to deal with those spiders. Let's start her up. Here's a throttle control, it's in stop at the moment for tortoise, and there's a hair there, so it's always telling a story, isn't it? Let's set it to run start. Let me get the blades up off the deck, and let me see if I can start this. Now, one attribute I noticed with this lawnmower is it is very easy to start. Have not started it yet. Okay, here we go. Should take one pull on our shortened starter. Here we go. Oh! Yes! Success! Oh, a little bit of grubbiness coming out of the exhaust there. Not sure how much you're gonna hear me here, but you will see the lawnmower do some cutting. <laughs> but don't worry, boys and girls, it's actually very easy to start. Not gonna cut the camera, are we? <laughs> don't do this at home, boys and girls. <laughs> oh, 
crikey, he's looking up. I'm very unprofessional, aren't I? Here we go. Here we go for a start. Oh, oh that's so easy. Okay, and we're mowing again. Mowing again. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, should I say mulching? Let's do some crazy stuff. <laughs> yeah, ball. That's one way to get rid of the papers. You. Mowing like a champ, I better finish off the job that I've just started. Obviously, this lunatic has totally forgotten I'm left here straight on the grass. Anyway, I'm not scared. I'm a really tough toy because I'm a real Thomas the Tank. Oh no! Oh! See if I can find him. <laughs> He's down here somewhere. <laughs> Where's he gone? <laughs> He's just vanished. <sighs> oh, I think I've just found a little piece of him. <sighs> a little flash of blue, a little flash of black. Where's his face gone? Oh, oh no. Oh no. <sighs> Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, look what's happened to Thomas. <laughs> He's been completely destroyed. Oh, I mean, that's really sad. That was one of my favorite Thomases. <laughs> it's completely destroyed. I totally forgot it was there. <sighs> Where is the, the wheels? Where is the face gone? I've got to find the other parts. Maybe I could rebuild him. <laughs> Oh, no, there's nothing left. The, the Victor lawnmower has totally destroyed the Thomas. I can't find any other parts. I just thought maybe the Thomas parts are underneath here in the blades. Oh, but I can't see anything. I can't see any wheels. I can't see axles. I can't see his little face. Oh dear, oh dear. There's got to be parts of him here somewhere. Maybe I look more carefully. Oh, what a tragedy. Oh, hang on. Hang on a second. Oh, 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 oh my goodness me. Oh, how pretty. I found his face. I have found his face. Oh, it's okay, Thomas. It's okay. It's okay. Maybe if I'm a smart, I'll be able to rebuild him. I think that part goes up under here. I didn't find very much. It was a bit scary, I didn't find any wheels, I didn't find much at all, <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, maybe if I put a bit of blue tank there, okay, I'll fix it Thomas, it's okay, I'll fix it, <laughs> put the face on, is that how it goes, something like that, <laughs> is that right, how's he looking, <laughs> he doesn't have any wheels, he's going to run on rails about wheels, or maybe put a V on him, oh there we go Thomas, he's looking much better now. Well, I have to bring this review to an end here. I hope you learned something about the eat the lawnmower, what it can and can't do, and the things that I liked and disliked about it. As always, thanks for watching, and bye for now. Well, I should finish off by showing you this lawnmower working nicely. When it's set up correctly, it does a beautiful job at mulching your lawn up. I'll be quite honest here, I nearly sent this lawnmower back for total refund when I had problems with the zone starter. It also had me investigating what was going on and then of course I made this video to show you what I found out about this lawnmower. When I purchased this lawnmower, I nearly didn't buy Victor, I was going to buy a Honda lawnmower and they're pretty expensive. But I thought to myself, let's support something that's not Chinese made, it's designed and assembled in Australia, it's got a USA motor built from global parts. 
Whatever global parts means, I don't understand, maybe you can tell me. Maybe I'm the only person who's had this problem. I really think it's a silly design and what is a bit strange is the most basic Victor lawnmower has a normal pull start system without the zone start. I just wish they'd go back to the basic one that works. Anyway, there is good news up the end here. I did find other remnants of Thomas the Tank. He basically broke into three pieces. His wheel assembly and his wooden piece underneath was right over in the backyard and I was able to reassemble him so he starts to look more like a traditional Thomas the Tank. I'll be quite honest here, he would have had a big whack when he went into the blades and I'm really surprised that he's only broken up into three major components. The parts that I couldn't find were the magnet couplings. I'll finish off this video by showing you the only time I had trouble starting this mower and it was while I was making this video. But I know how to get little stubborn motors started and there's a product called Start You Bastard, another one called Aero Start. You squirt it down the carburetor and your problems are solved. Anyway, let me know if you've had good experiences or bad with Victor lawn mowers. I may be the only person who's been hammered by this. Come on, why isn't it starting now? Okay, set that full. Well, I don't know what went up and then, but I had to go and get a can of that and spray it down the carburetor to get this thing started. Very boring. Very boring indeed.